Savers. Everybody found one item here. A Guitar Hero guitar for the PS2. Red Octane, PSLGH. $6.99. I'm gonna have to test it when I get home, but it looks to be in good shape. Could probably sell for $45 to $50. Not too bad. Just left the savers, only picked up the one item, and we're gonna go head over to a Goodwill now. At the Goodwill. Well, here's everything that I picked up today. Stopped by the savers, and then the Goodwill right nearby. And I only picked up three items. Two Goodwill items that you guys probably did not see. I don't think I recorded at all. Both Muggsy jeans, and one is the Fultons here. As you can see, I paid $10.99 for this one. And the other one is called the Willies, and they're both actually the same size. Maybe I'll line them up, I don't know, but this one's gray, this one's blue, and this one was priced at $4.99. Big price difference between the two. 16 bucks in total for both of these. Goes for roughly about $35 to $40. This one, the back the tag is coming apart though, like the stitching is, which shouldn't be that big of a deal. I've sold them in the past with that issue and it should be fine. Probably looking at about the same thing, probably about 40 bucks as well. So great brand to look out for. If you guys ever see Muggsy out in the wild, most of their styles actually have been doing pretty well. Definitely look them up if you guys ever find Muggsy in the wild. And the last item was actually this Guitar Hero guitar. It is missing the shoulder strap as you can see here. Paid $6.99. It is 25% off today, so only came down to $5.61 after tax. And I still need to test it out and see this is a red octane one. Here's the model number. Comps have been going for about $40 to $50. I've sold the red one before for about that price. I've actually never found a black one here. And that is everything from today so pretty quick trip to the thrift today unfortunately i didn't find a lot more things at savers with the extra 25 percent off today but yeah tune in for more thrifting content we are at the unique store again i did get a coupon from them for 20 percent off let's see all right guys just found one item ti84 plus 12.99 has the cover as well. It's the only thing I've found so far. Haven't found one of those calculators in a long time. Found another item. $7.79. Chubby's polo shirt. Kind of a cool print. Pineapples, I think. Nothing on the back. Just got everything laid out here. Not a big haul, as you can see from the Savers and Salvation Army. Showed you guys the Saver stuff. TI-84 Plus, $12.99. Hopefully it works. Does have the cover as well. And then the Chubby's Chubby's polo shirt, size large, $7.79. Kind of a cool print here. I might be tempted to keep it again. I always do that with <laughs> with polo shirts. Uh, but at the Salvation Army, I did pick up these Nikes. Uh, I think they're Air Force Ones. It looks like that style. Doesn't say like Air Force One anywhere, but it does have these like stars on the front here. These are men's size 11 and a half. Pretty decent shape. I would say it does have some heel wear paid $14.99 probably looking at about maybe 45 to 50 on these actually it's a very bright orange color wave you can see I took the laces off actually it's right here this is getting ready to clean these and usually take the laces off so I'll put up a comp for you guys to see on these items not a large haul but I'd say we got some pretty decent things we're going to go hit up a nearby thrift store, the ARC thrift store in this area, and see if we can find anything there. Just found these uh, Brooks Ghost 14, $12.99. Pretty good shape, actually. Might go for like $40, $50. And then also, <clears throat> might pick up this shirt, Eton. Button up shirt. Shirt is $8. bucks. Kind of cool blue, pink. Here you guys just found this thing in the kids section. Hot Wheels Mega Rex. Looks to be in good shape. I don't know, we need to check the batteries. It's kind of big, but might be worth it. They want eight bucks for it. <clears throat> Saw it going for about 40. Might give it a shot. Kind of a cool little Hot Wheel thing. Just left the Ark Thrift, picked up the Hot Wheels Mega Rex thingy. We have to put some fresh batteries and see if that works. Picked up the shirt and the Brooks shoes. Spent a total of 
Spent a total of $29.65. Should make all of our money back just on this Mega Rex thingy. And the Brooks should get us like 40 to 50. And then the Eton shirt might get like 20 bucks. Nothing too crazy. Maybe even 25. I don't know. Kind of a cool pattern. Good wheel. And I'm finding a bunch of pants here, like four pairs of Muggsy, one cool, and a Lululemon down there somewhere. I'll show you guys everything once I get home. We are back at the Unique store. Well guys, no Milwaukee press tool. Unfortunately, can't find it every day. Okay, all I found are these sal Salamons. $16.99, men's nine, men's 10, pretty good shape. 17, might go for like 40. Pretty good haul here, I showed you guys briefly the basket. Probably didn't see many of the pants when I showed you guys. But we spent a total of $48 for everything here. First off here, look at that, four, you can see the four blue badges all of these mugsy pants i love picking out mugsy they sell really nicely for me i've sold their jeans before i just recently bought a pair of pants as well from a different goodwill and now i got four pairs of pants all the same size i'm not sure if i want to list them all together or not i haven't looked into that yet but we got four different pairs of pants all of them were only seven dollars a piece so we got a pair of blue ones got the gray ones which i do have a different size in this one that i bought last time damon's yep that's the style you can always see the styles this one's called the skylines we got a beige tan one here it's called teddy's and then we have kind of like a grayish color, dark gray. And these are called the Brooks. I'll go ahead and flash some comps for you guys to see on these. But I might just lot them all together. I don't know yet. Probably looking at about $35, maybe even $40 a piece. Muggsy is a great brand to look out for. They usually sell their jeans for about $40 to $45. And I think the pants will do a little bit less than the jeans. But overall, a great brand to look out for. Make sure you keep an eye out for the blue badge on the back. Great little haul. Seven bucks a piece. We got four of them. $28 for these four pants. And then over here, we got a pair of cool pants. Love picking up cool. This one's in great shape. No major issues. Nice dark brown color. Never actually seen this color before. This one was $9.00. Probably looking about $30 to $35 on this pair as well. And then the last item... You got the triple stripe, not Adidas. These are a pair of Lululemons. Paid $10.99 for this one, so a little bit more. This one was a size 36, I think it was. 36 here, as you can see. And as you can see there as well, it is a older size dot. And you can see the logo right here. So it is an older style, but it is still a like five pocket pants, I think it is. Yeah, it's not their newest one, like the ABC five pockets so i'm gonna have to do some research on this one but i still think we could probably get like 30 35 maybe even 40 dollars on the pants typically i've been selling my current lululemon pants for about 40 to 50 dollars probably looking about 30 to 40 on this one since it is an older model but yeah that is the goodwill haul six pairs of pants can't go wrong with that. Definitely somebody donated their entire Muggsy collection. I couldn't find any more Muggsy. I searched through like all the pants and jeans. And these all four were actually together in the rack. So I just grabbed all four of them. But pretty good haul there from the Goodwill today. Hey everybody, I'm at the Turnstile Simon store. Found this uh, Bugatti. I think that's Bugatti. A red tag, $2 only for red tags during their sale and I found these uh, loudmouth shorts like golf shorts here's the logo here and they're asking six dollars fifty cents should get like 35 to 40 on this kind of a cool pattern and then I found this like vintage polo Ralph Lauren cargo shorts kind of cool too pretty neat design Here's the back badge. And not sure on comps, but 11.50. Thinking of taking a shot on this, just cause how cool this thing looks. 
just showing you guys what I picked up from the turnstile. Kind of showed you guys uh, most stuff. I don't think I showed you this. This is a pretty cool Harley Davidson piece. I spent a total of thirty-eight dollars today at the turnstile. Only one item was the red tag, which was two bucks. Which was this one here. This is a Gachi, I think is the name. To kind of make these funky, cool-looking colors. It's got this little embroidery here on the placket here. I think that's what it's called. Priced at twenty dollars, but all red tags are still two dollars. Didn't find a whole lot of red tag stuff. Only picked up this one. Probably goes for about fifteen to twenty dollars. Like I mentioned, I found this cool Harley Davidson short sleeve button up look at this embroidery on the back it's like 115 anniversary year or something like that here's the front got the embroidery right here on the pocket and it also has the tag here uh as well looks like it was priced at 80 dollars on january 29 2018 not sure where this was on the turnstile tag priced at 18 bucks does also have this hit on the sleeve and i don't think there's anything on the left sleeve so uh but there is a little tag on the bottom as well 115 right there just thought it was a cool shirt here saw some similar comps go for about 50 dollars 45 to 50 dollars so being new here i might try and price it up to 60 to 70 it's a very unique piece i don't normally pick up a whole lot of harley davidson stuff anymore it doesn't do as well but this one was new with the tag and it just had this sweet print on the back. This thing is pretty cool. So definitely paid up for 18 bucks on that, but I'm thinking I could at least get 45 to 50 minimum, especially since it's new with the tags. Also picked up a couple shorts I showed you guys as well. These were $11.50. These are Polo Ralph Lauren. I thought these were also cool here. Like very unique design here on the front with the numbering. The screen printing here, the Polo Ralph Lauren uh, patch here. Also on the back patch, like, look like at this thing. Polo Ralph Lauren Sports and Supply Company. This looks like a very, like, tactical cargo shorts. I think it's got the front pocket on this side. It's just a cool pair of shorts. Here. Did not see any really comps on this, but I'm also thinking about forty to fifty dollars on those since it's a unique vintage piece. Pretty decent find there for only eleven dollars and fifty cents. Hi everybody, we are at the Goodwill. Sorry for the loud music. Just found these pants for $4.99. It's a Lululemon. Here's the tag down here. It's a little worn, but they only priced it at $4.99. I think it's an older five pocket, but five bucks worth it for sure. Oh, I also found these Doc Martin sandals. It's like Y2K style. These are actually pretty in style right now. 11 bucks. Might be looking at 40 to 50 on these. I'll grab those. Found another item here. Golf Digest Slice Correction Trainers. These training kits actually can do pretty decently. Goodwill wants $6.99. And it appears everything is in the box too. Comps go for about 40 to $50. So don't overlook these training devices. Plus it has the box and everything. Just a little dirty, but just gotta clean it up a little bit. Just found this. To me bag. It's like a messenger bag. This one does have the solar strap. It's in really good shape. Got some leather like accent pieces. It does however have this embroidery here or the monogram. But pretty good. Here's the style tag. Usually you can punch in that number and figure out which style that is. But zippers work. Everything's in good condition. They want nine bucks. I think I'm gonna grab it. There were a couple sold for like eighty to ninety dollars, so pretty good find there. Hey, everybody! Editing thrifting tiger here. Just wanted to close out the video by going over a couple things. All the footage that you guys saw in the video spanned a two-week period. Ending on the Tumi bag that you guys saw that I picked up from the Goodwill. Speaking of that bag. I actually still have it here right now. I actually ended up deciding to keep it for myself. It's such a sweet bag. But as you can see here, there's no, there's no monogram now. And if you guys don't know this already, Toomey actually will replace those for free. So what I actually ended up doing was actually I took off the 
previous one. It's only held on by like some 3M tape that they use, like this double-sided tape. So I just took off the previous one that you guys saw in the video and I brought it into a Tumi store and they ended up finding a replacement for it and just replaced it for free. No charge at all for me. They just put on a new one and I was on my way. So if you guys ever do get one of those with monograms on it, you can get it replaced, at least on this style. So there might be some where it's like stitched onto the bag or whatever it might be. Maybe you can't replace those. This one was just double-sided tape, which was holding the actual monogram itself. I did replace it with a blank one. So if I do decide to resell it in the future, it probably can still get some pretty good money. As you guys saw, comps were over $100 on this bag. When I did go into the Toomey store, I asked them about the bag to see if they still had it. They said it was discontinued already. It's been out for years, so. So this particular style, they no longer make. So it's a little bit more of a rare item, right? I should probably be able to fetch more. Pretty good comps on that if I do decide to sell it over $100. But that's gonna be it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this thrifting video. If you guys did, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe for more thrifting content like this, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!